All right, students. Now, today, my goal is to, last time we have constructed the adaptive control law for pole placement. I would like to give an example first today, and then talk about some extensions to this control law. All right, so my extension will be slightly bringing this piece into the picture here. This is still just the tracking. Today, I would like to extend this so that it can do some disturbance rejection as well. As an overview, the procedure for that report placement is as follows. First, we choose some desired closed loop polynomial, D prime. This is only part of the closed loop polynomial if the plant has stable zeros. The stable zeros will come into as part of the closed loop polynomial. So DQ is really D prime and B. And then we specify the orders of the closed loop polynomial. All right? Under the condition of the Dauphin-Tai equation, the solvability of Dauphin-Tai equation, degree of D prime needs to be less than or equal to N plus D minus 1. Well, N is the order of the denominator and D is the uh, order of the delay elements in the plant. So these should all be known to you. Then the orders of the controllers will be immediately available for pole placement. So this is again coming from the dauphin tai equation when they can be solved. Order of S prime is D minus one, order of R is N minus one. And then after you know the orders, you know the dimension of the theta vector and then you can apply adaptation for the theta vector. The theta vector contains the coefficients of S, pro, S hat and R hat. And then after this step, you will uh, be able to implement the control law. So that's the overall recipe. Let's put these into practice on this problem. This is a mechatronics problem you can imagine if you have a motor, then the dynamics, velocity control of the motor will be something in this structure. It's a first order system with two steps of delay. And then if we now use the recipe, we will need to specify, write this A, B, and D down. This is quite easy. A is one plus A one Q negative one. N equal to one, D equal to two steps of delay, and B is B zero. So the order of the denominator is zero for B. The order of B is, is zero in the numerator. All right, so then we can decide on the orders very soon. First, let's uh, look at the, the recipe. So we need to design D prime. Okay. So let's say d prime is 1 plus d1. We need to make the orders right. So the order should be less than or equal to 1 plus 2 minus 1. So it should be maximum second order. So I can do d1 and d2. Maximum order q to the power of q to the negative 2. So we're done with the first step. The controller parameters, now we know the order. The degree of S prime should be D minus one. So it should only be a first order thing with S one prime. And the degree for R is N minus one. So it's only a constant terms is a coefficient R zero. All right, so this is the dauphin tai equation. Let's plug in what we have into the dauphin tai equation. We are going to have one plus A one Q negative one S prime plus Q negative two for D and R.
So this is known to us. We design these. We're going to select these. The only unknowns are an A1 is also known from the plant. The unknown from the controller parameters are these two, and we can solve them. This one is relatively easy, so I can just uh, multiply things out and uh, match the coefficient. Multiplication from the first two is going to be 1 plus S1 prime Q negative 1, and then A1 Q negative 1 plus A1 S1 prime Q negative 2, and then R0 Q negative 2 equal to the right-hand side. So it's not difficult to see. For the first-order terms, we can obtain S1 prime should be equal to D1 prime minus A1. Then for the second order terms, we can get uh, R0 is D2 prime minus A1 S1 prime. And it equals uh, A1 S1 prime is D1 prime minus A1. All right? So therefore, the control structure now will become S. S it equals, S prime is just part of it. So S is B times S1 prime. OK? So we know the coefficients for S, if it's S0 plus S1, it's going to be equal to B times Q, S prime is going to become B0 plus B0 S1 prime Q negative 1. So these are the coefficients for S. R is just R, nothing changes. So just copy this one down. Then we can have the control law right here. Okay? So the, this is the adaptive version. The deterministic version will be if known parameter. Then we will have UK is 1 over S. And then inside is D prime. Minus R and Y, K. Okay? In this problem, D equals to 2, so this is K plus 2. And then, if we plug in these derived control parameters for S and uh, R, then we'll be able to explicitly obtain. So S is B0, oh, I'm going to just use S0 plus S1 Q inverse on this side. So we have S0 UK equal to, I'm going to multiply this inside and then shift the S1 U Q minus 1 to the right.
then plus d prime minus r zero y k. All right. So at each time, the true signal that we're applying is this. All right. So at time k, this is what we apply. We apply u k equal to one over s zero negative s1 uk minus 1 plus d prime ydk plus 2 minus r0 yk. So this is the actual control command that we will apply. This is a formula. And if we really want to be more specific, this is actually d prime is here. So this is actually the signals that you should apply is this. 1 times y d k plus 2 plus d 1 prime times y d k plus 1 because of delay, and then plus d 2 prime y d k. All right, this is a complete control command. Every single element inside is a scalar multiplying with some signals. Okay, and all these are no. D1 prime is what we design. This is what we compute. This is what we compute. This is what we compute. So that's the deterministic control command. If everything about the, if there are no unknown parameters, we can compute things this way. So the adaptive version is as follows. For adaptive con control, All right, the case with unknown parameters. Then the commands that we need to, oh, we need to update, right? We need to somehow have an adaptive control command about theta, all right? We need to update theta in certain ways. So to do that is the, we need to parameterize, we need to parameterize this from last time this eventually into something about phi and uh, theta. So it's not difficult either. From here, we can already see the picture. So d prime q inverse y d k plus 2, it equals shifting these terms a little. It's nothing but a linear combination of u k, u k minus 1, and y k, right? So let's massage this one into a from here. Is UK? I'm gonna put UK first. UK, UK minus one, and then YK. This is our regressor vector, and our coefficient theta is going to be UK is. It's this one. This is the coefficient. So it's S0. Coefficients for UK plus 1 is S1. And then finally, it's R0. So we have the phi times, phi transpose times theta type of structure now. So if we don't know for unknown parameters, then we need to update theta PAA, apply some PAA. Let's do uh, the one that we have gone through, recursive d-squares, series parallel update law. We're going to do phi. Phi. All right, and then F phi, and then the error signal. OK, 
Okay, so the signal that's going to drive it is d prime, k plus d. D is two. D prime d prime q inverse, and then y k minus this phi this predicted output. Okay, so this is the same structure again. Just to keep in mind about the time indices, these are all created to let you be aware what kind of signals I'm applying at each time. At time k plus two, I'm using phi k. So at time k, I'm using phi k minus two. All right. So that's the PAA. You do this, and then you will be obtained. So this will give you s zero hat at time k, s one hat at time k, and uh, r zero hat at time k. This is from the theta vector. So it equals theta. I'm going to do this. Uh, theta hat one. Theta hat two, and then theta hat three. That's how you obtain these parameters from the vector. Then, with this step, we can apply the adaptive control law. The adaptive control law U K is going to be one over S zero hat K, and then negative S one hat K. Plus y d k plus two d one prime. This one doesn't need to be updated. Y d k minus r zero hat k. All right. Then, after k, you advance to the next time step, k plus one. This is the full set of adaptive pole placement control with stable zeros. Take some time to digest this. <laughs>